Welcome to this week's tech tip, where we'll take a quick look at how to utilize both the cusp height and cut increment values to get the most out of the profile mill operation. If we take a look at the current model, we can see that the curved channel feature contains both a vertical wall as well as contoured fillet surfaces down at the base. A feature such as this can be effectively finished machined with a simple profile mill operation by using the cusp height value in conjunction with the cut increment. Now if we open up a profile mill operation, we'll generate this toolpath first using only the cut increment value. We'll select the entire model as our cut feature, and then for the boundary definition simply select the three surfaces that make up the feature we want to cut. We can see from the resulting toolpath that this approach works well on the vertical wall surface. But when we get down to the contoured surfaces at the base, the step down continues at the cut increment value and does not accurately finish the feature. If we now go back into the operation settings and enter a value for the cusp height of 0 0.0005, we can leave the cut increment as previously set and press OK. Now we can see that these two values are being used together where the vertical surfaces are addressed using the cut increment value and as the draft of the surfaces change, the cut increments reduce so that the desired cusp height is maintained. As you can see from this simple example, utilizing both cusp height and cut increment values on a feature of this nature yields smooth, even toolpath resulting in a consistent surface finish regardless of the feature geometry. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful and until next time, stay productive.